Welcome back. You know, so many people in America look robust. They look healthy. You walk around the street out in public. You wouldn't think we were malnourished, but we're finding out the studies are showing us that we really are. Richard, highlight some of this new research yes, for us because do. it's pretty I mean, it's, it's pretty much going to slap us in the face and say, hey, listen, you yeah. need to pay attention to your health. You know, this is the land of plenty, and the typical Americans put on a few pounds, mm -hmm. and, and most people think, how could they be nutrient deficient? Well, the facts are that many of them are nutrient deficient. In fact, United States-sponsored studies, including the Haines first, second, and third studies, the 10-state nutritional survey, United States Department of Agriculture, nationwide food consumption studies, all of these studies over the last few years have shown that 50% of the U.S. population is at least deficient in one nutrient, at least one, half of us. And if you go into certain age groups and certain condition uh, type groups, 80% are nutrient deficient. The very young tend to be nutrient deficient, the very old, and people with chronic illness. 80% have a deficiency in at least one nutrient. So we're talking about you and me, folks. We are nutrient deficient. Here's one from Lancet. This is the British Journal. Multiple vitamin, if we take a multiple vitamin with vitamin E in it, it reduces the heart attack risk by 77%. Now, this is not synthetic E. This is natural E. Okay. Last fall, we had a big report on synthetic E raises the risk of death. Well, real E, organic E, natural origin E reduces the risk of heart attacks by 77%. Here's one reported in the Nutrition Research Art, uh, a Journal. Multiple vitamin use by seniors reduces the days of feeling sick or ill by 52%. 52%? 52%. Just taking a multiple vitamin by seniors reduces the days of feeling sick or ill by 52%, and the number of days on antibiotics by 54%. Just a multiple vitamin. The National Institute of Child Health and Human Development survey finds multiple vitamins slows the progression of AIDS. Now, we all know that AIDS is a profound immune deficient state. And if a multiple vitamin would help slow the progression of that devastating disease, imagine what it would do for your colds and your flus. It helps prevent those. Here the journal Pediatrics report that a multiple vitamin, uh, if taken by expectant diabetic mothers, reduces the risk of birth defects in their babies. We also know that the B vitamins, folate, reduce the risk of neural tube defects or spina bifida. Multiple studies have shown that taking a multiple vitamin during pregnancy reduces your risk of preterm delivery. There's volumes on prenatal vitamins, no right. doubt about it. If you're pregnant, be on a vitamin. Here's one, this is amazing. United, uh, excuse me, the UCLA, University of California in Los Angeles School of Public Health reports those who supplement with vitamin C, just 300 milligrams a day, live on average six years longer. Just 300 milligrams of C, six years long. Crichton University reports calcium supplementation as a multiple vitamin reduces blood pressure by five to seven points, which is equal to most blood pressure pills, and reduces obesity by about 12 pounds a year, just from wow. supplementing calcium. Mm -hmm. uh, the Journal of Psychopharmacology reports multiple vitamin users have less anxiety and stress in their daily lives. Other studies have shown improvement with depression, anxiety, panic attacks, and hypoglycemia with multiple vitamin use. <laughs> this, it's adding up, mm -hmm. isn't it? Mm -hmm. Here the Lowen Group reports if all Americans took a good multiple vitamin, it would reduce the risk of heart disease by 24% and would save $1.4 billion in Medicare spending every year. The Journal of Alternative and Complementary Medicine report shows that when multiple vitamins are given to school children, 20% of those children show an improved IQ, reflecting the fact that 20% of these kids are nu uh, nutrient deficient in something, and getting those nutrients improves their clarity of thought and memory. Amazing, improves the IQ. The uh, Johannes Gutenberg University in Germany finds that organ transplant patients who take a multiple vitamin have fewer post-op complications with prolonged graft and host survival. In other words, if you need an organ transplant, taking a multiple vitamin means you're going to come out of that operation better and live mm -hmm. longer with it. It's amazing. Here, over 100 years of research concludes vitamins help with cancer outcome, cardiovascular disease, depression, irritable bowel, immune function, childhood growth and development, behavior, and on and on. Also, 100 plus years of vitamin research concludes vitamins prevent disease. Wow. Most experts now agree, though, that the minimum daily requirement, in other words, the amount 
needed to prevent scurvy or beriberi is not really enough to prevent the cancer, prevent the heart disease, prevent these things that we all want to do. You need to boost up a little more to do that. <clears throat> That's just amazing. So, Richard, you know, we're not all the same. No, Our we're bodies not. don't work the same. We don't relate the same. Different thing. Da da da. Let's talk about maybe what vitamin would be right for our body type, our metabolism, our health. Well, our specialty here w with the vitamins and nutrients we make are f we make them w with sick people in mind. People right. are really struggling with right. their health who need a a super high powered nutrient mm -hmm. to really make a difference in their lives. Hence, we make our bio nutrients. We have four different versions of this type of multiple vitamin. The first one is the organic green blend. Now, this multiple vitamin has the extract of cruciferous uh, vegetables mm -hmm. so that each serving of the multiple vitamin, you get equivalent to two or three servings of vegetables. Right. Your Brussels sprouts, your broccoli, your cabbage, your kale, that type of thing. So important for your health. So, for example, let's say you're the type of person who has a little more trouble getting your vegetables in every day. That's the vitamin you would want to get. Now, we also have the berry blend. This features extracts of all our berries. And those who are struggling with vision problems or perhaps cardiovascular health, vascular situations, the berry is excellent for them. We also have the uh, low allergy. People who have sensitivities to food, we feature a rice-based protein with, uh, I don't want to call it Spartan, but it's designed so that people who are struggling with their allergies would benefit most. most. And then we also have our active adult version that contains less iron, a little CoQ10 for the heart, a little ginkgo for the mind, lutein for the eyes. We feature these conditional essential nutrients that become more necessary as we age. Folks, when we return, we'll be finishing more about our multiple vitamins.